and welcome back to my series from basic to business. So the series is about transforming your life from basic, average, Joe Schmo to being a business owner, building a solid foundation, a six-figure company. I want everything that I've been able to build and I want it for you and I know you probably want it for yourself. So make sure you tune into the series, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, do what you gotta do to get the information. Even if it's from someone else, I just wanna make sure you guys are living your best life. So how do I validate my idea to try to figure out if it can work as a successful business foundation? That's what we're talking about today. So first we gotta start with an idea, right? What is your idea? What's your big idea? I want you to first write it in a bubble and we're gonna go through the five steps on how you can validate to see if your idea is going to make it as a business, right? What do you think the first thing we have to do is? The first thing we have to do with our idea is figure out what type of business it would even be. Is your business a product or a service? If your business is a product, is it a digital product or a physical product? If your idea is a service, what kind of service is it? Is it a professional service in a professional setting? Do you need an office building to uh, a, a office? Do you need an office space to see your clients, or is it a professional service that you that you offer online consultations or one on ones or coaching calls? So that's the first step I want you to do. I want you to figure out what exactly is your business idea. Where does your business idea fit? in these categories. Is it a product or a service? If it's a product, is it a digital product or a physical product, something you can sell, touch, feel, or are you selling it digitally on an online platform? If it's a service, is it a professional service where you need a space to maintain your clientele? Or is it an online service that you have to service your clients virtually? The second thing I want you to do is research. This sounds like common sense that you would not believe how many people actually skip this part. They want to just ask somebody if their business if their business idea is a valid idea, but they don't actually want to sit down and do the work or do the research, right? Because they need to research that industry to try to understand what's out there. I want you to research case studies. I want you to learn this industry inside and out. I want you to see who built this type of company successfully. I want you to know who failed at building this type of business and where did they fail at, why did they fail. And I want you to understand this industry inside and out. Once you understand that everything is needed within this industry, you'll have a lot clearer of an understanding on if this business is gonna work out for you or not. Because once you start reading some case studies on where someone happen to successfully run their business or build that business, then you'll be able to either connect with that person and say, okay, well, they did it like X, Y, and Z, and X, Y, and Z is attainable to my reach, so maybe I can do it that way too, with still adding on my own twist and validating my own business idea. So I want you to research your case studies. After this research, the third part of what you're gonna be able to do is gonna be one of the most important parts, and I want you to price going to take for you to start this business. After researching these case studies, then you'll be able to figure out what of that type of business idea is going to need to actually getting up and running. An example, if you have a digital product, what are you going to need to get it up and running? A website, right? Some type of customer support system, right? Some type of um, CRM manager for you to manage your customs. I want you to, after your research, be able to tell me everything that you need to get this business up and running and not to make it fancy and look good. What do you need bare minimal to get this business up and running? What is that price? Or better yet, what does that list of expenses look like? What's on that list? If it's an online platform, are you including your online software programs? If it's a professional setting, uh, 
for a service that you're offering? Are you including that rent lease in there? I want you to create a de detailed spreadsheet with all the list of expenses that you need to incur to be able to make this idea an actual running business, right? What do I want you to do after the pricing? I want you to create a second spreadsheet or Google Doc or Microsoft Word document, however, whatever you need to do, but I want you to understand how income is going to be made. Once you price your list on everything that you're going to need to make this business come into fruition, you're going to start to see how much it costs. For instance, if you're going to start a t-shirt business, once you price the list of expenses and you find a warehouse manufacturer that you can buy them from wholesale, you'll understand what that price looks like on an order of 100 t-shirts or on an order of 500 t-shirts. Once you have that price list of expenses, you'll be able to create a list of how income is going to be made. For instance, if a, if a shirt costs you $10 wholesale, plus to get it screen printed and shipped and all that is an additional $10, and it costs you $20 to make, I want to understand how your income is going to be made. How much are you selling that t-shirt for to actually make income? You need to have a very clear vision on how much your idea is going to cost you, your new business, your potential startup, right? I'm going to manifest it into here. Your future business, I want you to know exactly how much it's going to cost for you to build this future business. And then I want you to figure out and have a very clear vision on exactly how you're going to make money. Unless you have this plan actually laid out, mapped out, and for you to understand down to the cent and the dollar, then you haven't yet validated your business idea. But if you know exactly how much it's going to cost to get this business up and running, and if you know exactly how much it's going to cost to make the money, and if you leave a space from how much it's going to cost you to build this company to how much you can potentially make, that's going to be your profit margin right in there. So what do you think is the last thing on this list? After you know how much is going to be made, what do you have to do next? You got to test it out, right? So I'm going to want you to test your product, test your market. Test your market, test your customers, test your clientele. Test it out. If you have to grab a sample order of just a dozen t-shirts to test out your market to see if it could sell or maybe use a drop shipping third party company to see if they can make the shirt and sell it out for you, you at that point you're not really spending much money to test your product, right? I need you to test your product and once you have one to five customers, purchasing your product, at that point, you validated your business idea, right? If you have got five people to buy your business product, whether it's digital or physical, at that point, you have just proved to yourself that your idea, your big idea, can now make you what? Money. So I want to recap this for you guys and those taking notes. How do I know my idea is going to be a valid business idea? And you can do that easily in five simple steps. Take your idea and choose a category for it. Is it a product, a physical or a digital product, or is it a service, a professional or an online service? Do you need a professional setting or an online? Do you need a professional setting or a website to be able to sell your clients or handle your clients or meet with your clients? I want you to research case studies on that industry. Study that industry inside and out. I want you to know everything there is to know before you start investing your money into the new industry. After that, I want you to price and list all the expenses that it's going to take for you to turn this idea into a valid business.
right? A profitable running business. That's the goal here. So price the list of expenses. And you can only come up with this list of prices until after you've done the proper research and studied that industry inside and out. Once you know exactly how much it's going to cost you to set up this business, then you need to figure out exactly how you're going to make income from this business that you're going to produce. Right? Once you figure out how you're going to make the income, I need you to do it. Right? I need you to test your product and I need you to sell it to your customers or find customers. If you have five people or one person or two people buy your product, then this means that your idea is now a running business. It made money. Even if you don't gain profit from the first few sales, the way that you validated your idea to become a running business was by following these five steps and actually getting someone to purchase. If someone purchased your product, then they, it proved to you that you actually had something that someone wanted to buy, right? So I want you to keep that energy, keep that spirit, follow these five steps, turn your idea into a business, and more than that, I want you to go from basic to business, right? I want you to be able to have all the tools to fulfill your journey on entrepreneurship, to be able to be a small business owner and create another source of revenue. So I hope you guys are liking this series. If you have any questions, comments, make sure that you leave them down below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and message me any questions that you may have that you want me to do a video on because I'm taking all suggestions, all right, guys? So once again, Carmen Mohan here. Thankfully, I've been able to use all of these things to apply to my own life and build my own successful business. If you want to find out more about me, there's more in the description down below. But in the meantime, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you're tuning in for all this great information. So once you validate your business idea, shoot me a DM, send me a message. I want to hear all about it. All right? Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the second part of From Basic to Business. We spoke about how to validate your business idea. If you guys have any questions or comments along the way of this series, we want to make sure your questions get answered. So please be sure to leave us comments or send us an email at our information below. See you on the next section of From Basic to Business.